Sometimes my hands are by my side. Then behind my back they hide. Sometimes I wiggle my fingers so. Shake them fast. Shake them slow. Sometimes my hands go clap, clap, clap. Then I rest them in my lap. Now they're as quiet as can be because it's story time. You see? <clears throat> Hello there. Welcome to another episode of Page Ahead Story Time with Friends. My name is Lori. Look what I have here. What do you think today's story is going to be about? Does that look like a pirate? You are right. Nice work. Today, we will be reading Pirates Love Underpants. And it's by Claire Friedman and Ben Court. And if you look carefully, you'll see that everyone in the, on the front cover is got underpants on. Even the parrot has underpants. And even the crab at the bottom of the book has underpants. Looks like a really fun story. Let's dive in. Look at all those underpants. These pirates so love underpants they're on a special quest to find the fabled pants of gold for the captain's treasure chest. Do you think this is a picture of the fabled pants of gold that they're going to be looking for? Anchors away, the captain cries, hoist up black bloomers sail, unfurl the secret treasure map. Pants pirates never fail. And you see, if you look at the table, they've unrolled the treasure map that shows where the fabled pants of gold are. Black bloomer bobs upon the waves. The captain shouts, hooray! Sharks in fancy underpants. We found Big Knickers Bay. Hmm, the name of his sh pirate ship is Black Bloomer. Did you know that bloomer is another word for underpants? And here are the sharks swimming in Big Knickers Bay. Did you know that knickers is another word for underpants? And check out the underpants on those sharks. The pirates grab their shiny swords and row their boats to shore. Yikes, me hearties, what is this? Someone's been here before. How could they tell that somebody was here before? Well, it looks like the captain is pointing to something in the sand. It looks like footprints. The footprints lead through, sh through shifting dunes across the three pants ridge. Snap, snap, snarl, snarl the hungry crocs beneath the Long John Bridge. The hungry crocodiles at the base of the bridge. The pirates wade through gurgling swamps, through caves as black as night. They trek through prickly undergrowth, then gulp. Oh, what a sight. So here they are inside, dark cave, dark as night. There's a skull and crossbones, a spider, a snake, 
another spider and more bones. Ooh, kind of scary. We're here too late, the pirates grasp, gasp, another pirate crew. They found the golden underpants. What are we going to do? So remember, they were looking for the golden underpants. Here they are, but here are other pirates that already found it before them. What are they going to do? What's going to happen? The captain has a cunning plan. It's clever. It's fantastic. Grab their fancy underpants and cut through the elastic. What will happen if they cut the elastic on their underpants? Will their underpants fall down? Oh my goodness! Let's find out! As the rival pirates sleep, they snip round on tiptoe. But help! The captain's parrot squawks and wakes them up. Oh no! Grab those pants, the captain roars. They're after us. Ooh, ah! But with their pants around their feet, they don't get very far. So when they cut the elastic on the underpants, the underpants fell down and tripped them when they were trying to run after the pirates who were taking the fabled pants of gold. <clears throat> Yo ho ho ho, the pirates dance. Find treasure fills our hold. But what's the booty we love best? The glittering pants of gold. So when you put your pants on, check the elastic is in place. Or like those silly pirates found, you'll have a bright red face. <laughs> He's checking his underpants. Make sure their elastic is good and strong. There's the underpants page again. This story is called Five Pirates on a Treasure Chest. So here, let's count the pirates. One, two, three, four, five. There's even a parrot right there. There was a parrot in our story about the pirates and the underpants, huh? And lots of pirates, too. <clears throat> five pirates on a treasure chest. One jumped off, and four are left. Four pirates on a treasure chest. One slid off. And three are left. Three pirates on a treasure chest. One tumbled down, 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 down. And two are left. Two pirates on a treasure chest. One blew away. Woo! And one is left. One pirate on a treasure chest. He climbed down. And now there are none. No pirates on a treasure chest. Yo ho ho. And now it's all mine. Should I share the treasure with the pirates? Yeah, I think so. Let's bring our pirates back. One, two, three, four, five. Five pirates on a treasure chest. That's the end of the story. Mm. 
Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. Now it's time to say goodbye. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed the story theme as much as I did. Until next time, take care and happy reading.